pouring a nice warm albino martini. Have you ever seen the movie Foul Play? You know, the 1970s movie starring Chevy Chase and Goldie Hawn? If you haven't seen the movie, sit back. I'm going to show you some moments from the most non-PC movie ever made. And if you have seen the movie, you'll remember these moments, but perhaps you don't remember them being as racy as they were. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel because your response to this channel is what keeps me going. Oh, and as a thank you, here's a picture. Okay, let's dig into the movie. The headline of this plot is that it's about a woman who goes on a blind date and is suddenly in the middle of a big spy thriller. And that leads us to the first non-PC thing in this movie because she's told to beware of the dwarf. Beware of the dwarf. And she spends most of the movie thinking beware the dwarf really means look out for midgets. Like that man told you in the movies last night? Beware of the midgets. In fact, at one point, a Bible salesman who happens to be a little fella comes in to sell her a Bible and she thinks she's being threatened and she beats the guy up, kicks him out the window, and completely destroys his life. <laughs> when she realizes he's a Bible salesman, she goes to visit him in the hospital next day and still almost beats the hell out of him. Oh no! <laughs> you could not pull off a scene like this today. Number two, at some point in the movie, there's a big chase scene through the streets of San Francisco with Chevy Chase and Goldie Hawn. They commandeer a cab, but when they look in the back, they find a Japanese couple who doesn't speak English. So they tell them they need to go on a chase, the only way they know how, by referencing the old TV show, Kojak. Uh, bang, bang, like Kojak? Kojak, bang, bang? Right! Which then causes the Japanese couple to get all excited and start going along for the ride, loving it as they go up and down hills. It's hilarious, it makes no sense, and you could never do this today. <laughs> Number three, can we talk about Dudley Moore? At some point, Goldie Hawn is in trouble. She's in a bar, she thinks she's being followed, so she sits down and tells a man to take her home. Well, the man completely confuses the situation and thinks she wants to go home and have sex. But that's just the beginning, because when he gets her home, it turns out he has a bit of a sex dungeon. First she has a crazy bed, then he has binoculars, then he has a full bar, then he starts pulling out inflatable dolls, and it just becomes an insane fetish situation that's hilarious, but it couldn't be done today. Later on, we see that guy at Asian Massage Parlor. <laughs> Number four. At one point, Goldie Hawn is trying to escape, and she's outside on a balcony trying to get the attention of these two old ladies who are in the connecting building. But here's the thing. These ladies are playing Scrabble, and the words they're making could never be done today. I'm just going to go ahead and explain the first lady sees an F and then has an Uck, to which the next lady makes it Ucker. I'm not going to say the word. To which the other lady then comes back and makes it Mother. You get what they're trying to say. You could never do this today, especially with two old ladies. I think you spell that word with a hyphen. Really? Number five, there's a character that has all white hair, all white eyebrows. They call him the albino. Yes, exactly. The term is albino, but the thing is nobody knows his name. Everyone just calls him the albino. I don't think you could call a person who has a medical condition, albinoism, an albino, and get away with it in the movies today. But that's all they do. The entire movie, they call this guy the albino. It must have been the albino. Uh, who's the albino? Finally, number six, the main plot is that the Pope has a twin and they're trying to kill the Pope. I don't know in what universe you can get away with trying to kill the Pope and that the Pope actually has a twin. Nonetheless, that's where this goes and they foil the plot at the big, big finale. Look, I love movies of the 70s and I hope you'll check out my other movie videos that I have where I talk about some hilarious old films. And Foul Play really was a great movie for its time. It just couldn't be made today. So if you can get past your offensive nature and just indulge in a movie that's going to be non-PC, I really recommend checking out Foul Play. I'll put a link to the movie in the comments. She was one tough old mama. I'm making this channel for you, so have a great day and beware the dwarf.